Hello and welcome to my short video on how to defeat the Golem boss from Terraria. So the biggest thing to do is to put a little wall in the middle of the arena so that his mobility is limited. That'll keep him from stamping around. Take out the fist closest to the wall so that when you're on the other side of it he can't punch through because the fist on the opposite side can't punch across his body. I like to get up above him, shoot down some more, until he starts using the lasers. At that point, I switch to going on the other side of the wall and use the Scourge of the Corruptor to shoot above him, take out some blizzards which respond, and if you shoot above the wall, it'll hit the ceiling, the homing projectiles will go down and hit his body. Once his head comes off, just move back and forth and he'll miss most of his shots. The hoverboard is helpful here because it moves quickly enough that it's very easy to dodge his attacks. I literally just jump up and go side to side. There's no real timing or anything with that. And he's dead. Pick up all the stuff. Heat ray. Nice. So I'm going to go over the equipment that I have real quick. Legendary Terror Blade. That costs a lot of money. Godly Scribs of the Corruptor. That costs a lot of money. Murderous. Nimbus Staff. So the beetle armor uh, it works perfectly well with the turtle armor as well. You just might have to use a health potion as opposed to the exactly zero that I used. And some items to increase damage, increase survivability, things like that. Now in order to summon him you need lizard power cells which you get from killing lizards. This room happens to be tall enough that I can stand up at the top on the small platform with a water candle to increase spawn rate and shoot down with my Curse Inferno, Skirt with Corruptor, with complete and total impunity. It's kind of nice. It's a good way to get some money, I guess, that they drop, as well as mainly the power cell. That was actually a mimic chest, which dropped a magic dagger. They seem to be the only other enemy that spawns in this area. And after you get board, pick up some of the stuff, and lizard power cell. Nice, we can spawn another golem boss. Pick up all the money because we're obsessive. And spawn him again. Now it's really important here that you get stuck on the wall trying to figure out what the different buttons do. It gives the golem a real sense of self-esteem and makes him think that he can win, which is very important. Um, you know, keeps his guard down. No, I think I was just confused about what life does. Also, switch to the wrong weapon here. There we go. So I think, though I'm not actually sure, that if you can land all the shots with the Terra Blade, you'll actually end up doing more damage than if you're hitting him straight on with the Scourge of the Corruptor. I could be wrong about that. But certainly when you get to this point, you want to use the Scourge of the Corruptor, so you don't even really have to worry about aiming or anything. You just shoot up above his head and let the homing projectiles do their homing thing. A couple more seconds. The Nimbus Clouds are there just to add a bit of extra damage. And he is gone again. Super easy. Stinger. Very nice. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching.